Let's say we have created some structure like this, using geometry nodes in Blender. And our node setup goes here. Once the design is done, we want to apply different materials to different parts of this structure. So today, we will learn how to do that with geometry nodes. Let us first go to the materials tab and create a new material. Then change the base color, maybe to green. We can see that the material is applied to this entire body, but some parts like these are missed out. Let's find out why, we can see the material view here. So let us open the geometry node editor on this side. The base object is accessible through this group input node. Then we have edited the geometry of this base object through various nodes, for the final output, and it has got this green material. But these white parts are different, they are instances of this icosphere, which is a separate mesh primitive added through nodes, so it did not get this material. We will soon look into it, but let us first add some more materials here. We will use these materials for different parts of this structure, that we have modeled purely through geometry nodes. So we have got these new materials listed in these material slots. And let's say, we want to apply one such material to these icosphere instances. So we need to go to the Add menu, and under Material, we have to add a Set Material node. Here, we can select our desired material. But the most important thing is, where to place this node. If we place it at the end of this chain, the entire structure will get this pink material. But instead of that, if we place it after this mesh primitive, only these icosphere instances will get this specific material. Now let's say we want to add a different material for this projected part. It is created by this extrude mesh. So we'll duplicate this set material node and place it after the extrude mesh. And let us select a different material. So we will get the red material applied to all the projected parts of this model. Similarly, let's say we want to apply the fourth material for these triangular projections, and they are created by the second extrude node. So we need to attach one more set material node here. And let us select the yellow material for this. This will change the material for these target parts as expected. Let me show you another interesting thing. For these projected parts, let's say we want to apply the red material only to the top surface. We can do that by using these two output sockets, called top and side. And we have a selection input here. Let us connect the top output to this. Now we can see that the red material is applied only to the top faces, instead of the entire projection. And if we connect the side output here, we will get the red material only on the side parts, and rest is as usual green. So this way, you can add specific materials to your model. You have to just identify which section of your node tree is creating that specific part, and then you need to add a set material node there. But if your node setup is too complex, and you are not able to access individual faces at all, there is one last option available. In the Modifiers tab, you can apply the geometry nodes from here. This will remove your nodes, but back to 3D viewport, you can switch over to the edit mode. Now you can select any individual part of your model as usual, and then attach any specific material to that part, using this assign button. But you should use this only as the last resort, because this method will make your geometry nodes permanent, so you cannot edit your model any longer. That's all we wanted to cover in this quick tutorial. Now you have a basic idea on how to add materials in geometry nodes. I know it is quite elementary, but I think it may be helpful for someone who is new to geonodes. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.